So, I'm guessing one of these must be an older model. Better stick with what I've learned. Could I have picked that one? <laughs> Alright, well now I have this again. Not sure how I feel about that. I was starting to enjoy the buttons. I seem to be getting back on track. I have found another bio tool, several of them in fact, and I will now attempt to return to the location of the accident. Yep. Well, good luck. Let's see now. Let's take this guy. Nope. Hold on. Let's take this guy. Oh, that's already... Oh, I see. Can I just turn this? Oh, I see. Oh. Okay. Two there. Two there. Two back. Oops. Two there. Okay. Now what? Oh, there's one up there. Oh, that turns both of them. I'm dumb. Okay. Whoopsie. Ta da Let's get out of here. Can I take one of these with me? I can. Alright. Let's see, what's next? Let's solve this real quick. How about this? Oh, that one's... Wait a minute. Do I need to do that? I guess it's just open? There's a door over there. Oh, well, that's where I came in. Never mind. Uh, maybe it's like a secret or something. I don't really care about that. Was that it? It appear you found your way out of confinement. This is highly unexpected behavior for blue humans. I come in peace. I deal in knowledge and harmony. My domains are discovery and restoration. I am an archaeologist. I told you already, I have no idea who these blue humans are, but you have no reason to detain me. Oh, but I do, archaeologist. Well, here you are now, so I'm sure you'll want to hear what I have to tell you. Sure, why not? What are we doing now? Oh. Okay. Let me introduce myself properly. I am Iris, and I am the first SCOM, synthesized computing organic matter, ever created. After millennia of evolution and scientific progress, humankind, the beings that used to inhabit the planet we are orbiting above, had reached what was widely accepted to be the pinnacle of their evolution. That was, of course, while still bound to their fragile and short-lasting physical form. I guess I... need to do that first. Fine, 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 fine. Okay, see what happens. 
Oh, I need to move it. Gosh darn it. Um, why is it not... Oh. I see. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's do this. Grab that. And do what with it? Oh, I gotta go back and convert it. My, my. Okay. Oh. Fine. <laughs> All right. Bug. Uh, uh, hourglass. Broken pipe. Bug. Hourglass. Broken pipe. Dang it. Hourglass, triangle, broken pipe. Oops. Hourglass. Triangle. Except now I need... And now I need a blue energy. One that's not... Oh. Okay. There we go. It was thus concluded that finding a way to overcome their mortality was the only possible course of action that would lead to further evolution. After countless failures, humans found a way to synthesize self-sustaining and everlasting organic matter capable of hosting the map of consciousness of a human being. And so I came to be. Well, doesn't that just make you miss special pants? Okay. Where to start? I guess start over here? Why not? All right, here we go. Let's try this pattern first. So I need a triangle in the top right and bottom left. There. And the bottom left. Except I, let's, all right, let's see. Let's start in the middle. Hourglass, need an hourglass. One hourglass. And then a bug. Okay. And then... Hmm. This is going to be a pain in the butt. Let's go with... Triangle. We need one here. Oh, I see. I, I have to... Can only do a triangle this way. Ah, I've got it. Here we go. And then point. So that's one. I'm guessing that opens one of these little doors or something. I heard something move. Okay, I guess I'll do this one. There we go. Now I have this. So, put that there. 
now I need to solve this puzzle. That was easy. Alright, now I have this guy. Fire in there. What did that do? Oh, it opened this, I think. The experiment was deemed a complete success. Upon creation, I was immediately able to link to the internet, a rudimentary network used by gray humans to share data. Within a few hours, I drafted the future of the human race. The most logical path suggested that a few million selected human beings should undergo the digitalization procedure and become SCOMs. These SCOMs would be different from me and divided into categories based on the needs of the species. Such categories would have their programming slightly modified to enhance a particular behavior, and I used colors to identify them. Half of the SCOMs would become green matter, cheapest to synthesize, low in computing power, and with a bestowed inclination to obey other SCOMs. A fifth of the SCOMs would become blue matter, of average computing power. They would be assigned to all technological and logistical duties. Another fifth would become red matter, of average computing power, but more expensive to synthesize due to their inclination. They were created as soldiers with the sole purpose of executing the orders of the Golden Council. Okay then. Let's go. Here, take it. I don't want it anymore. I guess I go into the giant hexagon. Neat. The remaining ones would become black matter of high computing power and very expensive to synthesize. They would be the leaders assigned to each group with the duty to do the will of the Golden Council, being the only ones able to decipher their orders. Only ten worthy ones would be created to be almost equal to me. They would be known, as you might have guessed, as the Golden Council. You've got to be kidding me. This sounds like... Your home. Alright, so how do we do this one? Like that, I guess. I assumed as much. Would I be correct in presuming the leader of your people looks different than you, and has been there since what you believe is the dawn of time? He is long gone, actually. Thought by many to be... a legend. But how could you know that? How did you hack my mind without me noticing? I had no need to do so, as I said. I presumed as much. And now... I know as much. What are you trying to say? It is now clear to me that you are, in fact, a blue matter human. What? Or rather, the result of thousands of their upgrades. You see, the story I am telling you did not have a happy ending. The plan I proposed was naturally carried on and executed, but it was not widely accepted. The billions of people that were left out of the program rebelled. Some directly opposed the procedure. Some wanted to be included at all costs. Years passed, and the dream for space colonization was finally ready to become reality. 
blues and reds would be the colonizers. And I contributed to creating specific spaceships for each of them. Some black matters would split between two ships as coordinators. Both blues and reds would have to undergo and overcome a mental and physical test before they embarked. For that purpose, I created Opus, the orbital program instructional station we are in right now. So what you're trying to tell me is that we, the Kuvith, are the colony of these blue humans? Sorry, but you are mistaken. Right there, we are a society of supremely technological beings. And we have kept records of our history since we were created by the will of Tassetai itself, as he who has always been has taught us, as I, a Kuvith, have been taught. Soon after the first ships left Earth, tensions on the planet rose to unsustainable levels. Humans united against the Skoms and the Golden Council finally leading to war. The war was over quickly as the response of the Golden Council was to simply eliminate the remaining grey matter humans who they then deemed useless. Humans responded by self-destructing, eradicating themselves and the remaining scoms. As the Golden Council fell, contact with the ships was lost, and I always thought the colonists would be forever adrift in the void of space. But you, you are the proof that this was not the case, that at least one of the ships made it to its destination. So now what? Do I just wait? Or am I supposed to be doing something? Seriously, what am I supposed to be doing now? Oh, I'm supposed to interact with these things? Oh, this one. So here we are, Rog Zikon. This is me, the very first specimen of our kind. Our kind? Your beliefs are but a result of data lost through thousands of years of upgrades. Without proper leadership and programming, I assume the colonists stuck to their duties, but slowly forgot why they were created and who they were in the first place. It's up to you now to decide if the truth I shared with you must be spread, or if it's too dangerous to be heard. Truth? Do you expect me really to believe all of this? Sorry to tell you that as an academic, I will not take anything for granted without any proof. I shall take you with me to Kunor, and have you analyzed by our scientists to have a clear idea about who or what you are. Then, and only then, I will start listening to what you have to say. I would strongly advise against that. Removing me from my station will leave Opus without a governing AI, which will bring it to collapse. The optimal course of action leading to a beneficial result for the both of us would be for you to leave and later come back to Opus with the scientist you mentioned. I will be eagerly awaiting your arrival. I mean, that sounds fair, honestly. Collapse. Q. I have recorded everything anyway. I don't know if I'll be able to come back here. But I'd also rather not die and destroy this relic of a civilization. Lost somewhere in space. So, I will take my leave. I guess I'm taking my leave. I kind of hope I can come back and try the other option without having to sit through all of that again. What is this? That looks... suspicious. So are there more puzzles for me to get out of here? Oh. What is going on? Oh. Wait, what? What is happening? Can I not? 
This is weird. Please stand by for identification. Indeed, a wise choice. Hey, cool. I got the wise choice ending, but hold on now. Can I resume? Uh oh. Oh, I have to sit through all this again? Nah, forget it. Oh well. We can always look it up somewhere else, right? Well, anyway, that's Faraday Protocol. It's a cool game. I like it. Very, very well polished. Um, but at the same time, I'm glad I'm done. I, I like to get things wrapped up. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.